हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अकेडमी ऑफ इंटरनल ऑडिट सो एज यू नो वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग ए सीरीज कॉल्ड सक्सेस स्टोरीज इन विच वी आर इन्वाइटिंग द रिसेंटली क्वालिफाइड सर्टिफाइड फ्रॉड एग्जामिनर्स एंड सर्टिफाइड इंटरनल ऑडिटर्स सो टूडे वी हैव विद अस आदित्य कपाड़िया सी एफ ई राइट सो आदित्य फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेनी मेनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन बिकमिंग सर्टिफाइड फ्रॉड एग्जामिनर very much sir and uh, this thing which i attained the suffix cfe it was only possible because of your guidance and timely follow ups which were there as you know that one paper was left which was a bit taken aback by me because of the work which was going on so the constant guidance the constant motivation which you gave so that really helped me crack this exam very easily thank you very much sir right thank you so much aditya so uh, guys just to introduce aditya aditya is a chartered accountant by qualification and now a certified fraud examiner as well so aditya is working as a consultant with ey mumbai in a forensic audit department so aditya without taking much time so first of all aditya after becoming cfa how you have been recognized into your current organization so uh, cfa is as equivalent for a forensic investigative professional as is the degree chartered accountancy so cfe adds a little bit of more respect because they recognize that you have investigating skills you are able to analyze frauds which are happening in the department and you have that observation skills which are required for a forensic investigator so it adds a certain bit of weight as well as reputation to you because people start thinking of you oh he is actually a fraud investigator and not just a chartered accountant absolutely right very nice so aditya very important point you have touched upon that it is more about developing the mindset of a person so uh, when we say about your cfe journey so can you please let the viewers know about how was your journey so my journey was a bit of a rock and roll and sir pretty much knows about that journey so i'll be honest about this so i tried giving the exams on my own in the first attempt where i could not clear then i came across your youtube videos which were there when i searched on google me and my mom both searched it and we came to know that sir does have a very, very good uh, record when uh, people are studying with him and getting cleared as well i joined the course trusting sir and I had two months of time, if I'm not wrong, between my CA exam and the CA results which came. And I started going through the video lectures which were there, attending the Sunday doubt solving uh, sessions as well. I managed to give all the four papers and clear three out of those. The law paper, which was very, what do you call it, was very difficult or tough to understand, and maybe because I might have taken the subject lightly because I loved law in CA final, but this was an entirely different concept, the US laws. I again attended the last law uh, one-on-one questions uh, sessions which were there on Sunday, and finally I gave the paper. And okay, so talking about the paper, it was a two-hour paper, but I managed to complete the paper in forty-five minutes. I had oh, a word with uh, sir about this. Uh, it was. thoroughly done by me i had done four revisions of law in this four days of holiday which i had taken for the exams and sir the notes which you have prepared are amazing to the point conceptual clarity is there and the videos also help you to solve any of the doubts which are left behind so thank you for that and it made my journey a lot easier i know i should have completed this very early but better late than never yeah absolutely right very nice so aditya very nice so aditya when we say about this cfa certification and you are right now in a forensic department right yeah. so what do you feel like like if we specifically talk about the ey so how it is recognized in the ey so this is a very important question which even i had while i was joining a forensic department of any of the firms so uh, just being a normal ca is also recognized enough and reputed enough but there are certain nitty gritties attached with investigation and forensic role which a normal ca would not be aware of like as i i uh, told you earlier that uh, in the two months which were there i prepared for the cfe exams also it helped me prepare for my interviews in these big fours as well like as we know that there is a one 
major important thing which a forensic investigator has to do he cannot conclude on or give an opinion about it so that we know because we have learnt about it but a normal ca does not know we are just giving the facts ki this is that uh, it is a fact finding exercise so yes and uh, looking at me looking at my journey that in the one year where i am one and a half years where i was associated with ey there are people who are asking me my colleagues and teammates ki how did you approach this entire cfe course like how did you uh, manage to make out time for this studying on weekends and studying while traveling as i mentioned earlier so yes even they are interested because when they see a colleague getting that cfe degree while working even they are motivated ki chal let's do something it will only add value to our work and also there is no age of learning as we all know so it will always help us to broaden our mindset and understand many new things which are there in this forensic world absolutely right so aditya from your entire journey of cfe any do's or don'ts you would like to share with your fellow cfes so first of all please don't misinterpret that it is an objective examination there are objectives but there are case study based objectives which are pretty tricky in that 2 hours time frame because in those 2 hours you have to approach the question you have to read it understand the concepts which are there and then look at the options which are given and yes from 100 marks as we have to obtain minimum 75 marks passing so you have to be pretty clear with your concepts and i am pretty sure that when i read went through the notes which were pretty relevant and exam oriented notes as i had seen in my first attempt when i went through the exam manual it was pretty exhaustive like i had to highlight points which were particular or relevant to the examination but it became a task during the revision time so for that points make your own points approach it as if you are approaching any other professional examination be it upsc be it ca be it cs this holds that much importance as any of the examination because this is a globally recognized certification cas are only recognized in india because when you go abroad then you will have to do cpa or any other certification like acca which is there in U- uk but cfe it is recognized throughout and it opens up many opportunities for you if you want to take a jump into the abroad corporate world so yes the other thing would be you have to have constant revisions which are there like prepare a timetable there are any doubts contact sir or nidhi both of them are approachable and they will make out time for you attend the sunday doubt solving sessions yes those help me also because what you have learnt in the first week that again acts as a quick revision in the sunday 2 hour session and uh, last but not the least read about the many new frauds which are happening in the industry or worldwide which are there acfe also has the site also has many such publications which are there and those will actually help you to know that how the fraudster thinks or what was the modus operandi used in that entire fraud scenario and apart from that if you are looking to go into the forensic department or ethics and compliance department of any firm these things will also help you out in preparing for the interviews so yes that will be my approach yes uh, nice nice aditya if a person is is pursuing ca or may have dropped ca so, and he would like to develop his career into the forensic field so opting a cfe certification will be the right path for him or her i feel that if the people are not ca and they do cfe for forensic field it is a pretty good equivalent to ca degree which is there in stat audit department so i feel that cfe is is pretty good then you can do the fafd course which is there of the institute but that is further down the line when you have 4 to 5 years of forensic experience absolutely um, nice uh, nice aditya and uh, uh, i thank you so much for sharing your inputs and i believe the sure, input sir. which you have shared will be valuable for all of your cfe aspirants so i will request all of the viewers of this video if you have any query related to the cfe curriculum cfe study material or any kind of the guidance in relation to the exam so we will request aditya also to help you in this field so sure, if sir, you sir. have any of the query you can comment over this video and we will request aditya to reply to those comments so that it will be beneficial for and helpful to all of you right sure. thank you sir and i would also like to be associated in any way possible where i can help my fellow peers who are uh, appearing for cfe 
so do let me know in, in any way how i can help you and uh, trust me when i say this leave everything in the hands of sir and you will come out as a cfa with flying colors yes so thank you thank you much. sir thank you so much aditya for your nice words and it really well, value to us right thank you so much aditya thank you sir hope to bye connect bye. with Have you soon nice yes sir right. thank you bye bye